Okay, Pisces. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I'm going to start off with my Chinese fortune cookie oracle cards here. Manifestations. Okay. It says, a bountiful, a bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. Okay. All right. And I'm using this deck this week. And uh, let's see. All right. For Pisces, this upcoming week. And uh, if, at the end, if you guys like this, if you wouldn't mind giving it a like, that would be cool. And uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you guys watch my channel, some of you probably know that every sign has a power color and yours is light green okay so there are water signs here quite a bit and uh, fire signs quite a bit air and earth but there's mostly water and fire here the sign that stands out here is Virgo okay so well actually let me see okay so you start off here with the hermit and actually you do have two nines here I was looking at the numbers so the number nine is about fulfillment and compassion and empathy and fruition so the hermit here is about self-discovery and it can be solitude and inner wisdom and maybe needing or taking a break but maybe you guys have been just kind of finding time for yourself and doing some self-discovery. My card does indicate also, it just says that there, there's no true love with a partner unless you love yourself first. And maybe that's what you've been working on because it looks like new love here, new emotional experiences have come in for you. So next year is the Ace of Cups. So that is new emotional experiences. Um, it's a card about love and can also be some deep friendships, but uh, it's emotional happiness. For some, it can also indicate a new home. But uh, it looks like it's a, a chance to start over for a lot of you. And it can also indicate that an emotional issue has been resolved. So if you're not looking for something new, it can be that just that, that an emotional issue with somebody has been resolved. But, uh, there might be some wonderful coincidence, coincidences out of the blue. Next here you have the Page of Cups. And that is about new romantic encounters. And I uh, can indicate somebody who might be a little sensitive, a little moody at times, maybe even a little younger than you. But uh, it does show like that you are highly intuitive also. And uh, it's good news 
good news about a relationship. The card also says to trust your feelings. So that some of you are always seeking ways to better yourself also. And maybe that's why you're doing some self-discovery also, finding ways to <clears throat> better yourself. So next here is the Eight of Cups. And uh, that's about moving on. And if something's disappointing you, move on from it. And for others, it's seeking meaning or a spiritual quest. So maybe that's what you've been on or maybe that's what you're still on or going through. For some, it could be leaving home and can also be about travel and it does show that you you have the strength to take on new challenges and it's a perfect time to start a new phase in your life okay so next here is the queen of wands so this shows that there's nothing that you can't do it shows that you're ambitious and talented and it says to trust your instincts also, how people perceive you is important to you, for some of you. It does show that someone can be just sometimes a little hot-tempered. Okay, next here is the Nine of Swords. So that shows you might be having some anxiety and stress or sleepless nights, but it says to try to refocus your thoughts. I don't know if the, you know, it looks like this could be unfound fear, whatever you're, if you're worrying about something or having anxiety about something. But um, obsessing can cause illnesses. So I don't know if some of you might be obsessing over something here, but try to find a way to let go. Okay, next here is the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles shows that you're intelligent and respected and you might have authority and power but uh, shows that you can fully understand complex situations and that you're in control of your life. Or maybe for some, that's just, some of you might kind of give that off that you're in control of your life, whether you are or you aren't, but that just might be how you kind of come across to people. But uh, it does show that you do get things done and uh, shows that if there's anything, any official documents, looks like things are wrapping up, shows that things wrap up. Some of you might be a person in uniform also. Okay, next here is the Five of Wands. So that shows there might have been be some conflicts or maybe just differences of opinions. But it says to walk away. And the same with this is moving on, walk away. So if there's something here that's not right, walk away from it. And it also shows that it, maybe there's a different way of presenting your ideas might be some power struggles going on but next here is the two of wands so that's about taking the next steps and putting an effort it might be a partnership or collaborations it could indicate that but it shows that you've prepared yourself to step out into the world.
Okay, so at the end I usually pull a tarot, but I'm going to do um, oracle. I'm using these dragon oracle cards because uh, my thumbnail there is Bruce Lee, and he is the dragon. So I'm using the dragon oracle cards here. Aquamarine dragon from Neptune. Okay, enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom. Spirituality and wisdom are available to you. Develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge. What? Ineffable. Can you see that? What the heck? What? Is <laughs> okay, guys. All right. So, again, if you like this reading, if you want to give it a like, that would be cool. And uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate it. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot.